Welcome. If you know me, you know I get excited about appliances, kitchen appliances specifically, and Ninja. I'm a huge fan of the, the brand Ninja, Food Ninja, uh, the Ninja Foodie, uh, the Ninja Blenders. I, uh, I have a few, and I have a new one. This is a combi oven. Tonight we're going to be doing, uh, I'm going to unbox this and show you what's inside of it. And then we're going to make chicken tikka masala and rice in the combi oven. The Ninja Combi Oven. I'm so excited. This, what a combi oven is, is a combination of a, a convection oven, toaster oven, regular oven, broiler, and a steamer. And uh, this is an air fryer, this is a steamer, this is a broiler, it's a convection oven, it's uh, really freaking incredible. And I hope it lives up to the hype, but uh, let's get it out of the box and see what it looks like. Okay, it came with instructions, an inspiration guide, which I'm assuming is some recipes. And then a quick start guide on how to make meals. You get a, a grounded plug, you get the, the unit itself, and I'm gonna have to figure out where the water goes in and everything. Um, you get the two pans and this, this significant book. Um, it's, it's a pretty thick book. And we're gonna give it a go. So far, my first impression, it's got some weight to it, it's got some good rubber feet on it. The cord could be a little bit longer. It's only about that long, but it's going to be sitting right here next to the outlet anyway. And we're going to figure out how to work this thing. All right. So I already got into this a little bit. This is the switch. It says right here, combi cooker. And if you put it down like that, it says air fryer. To open the door, you just give it a little tug and pull straight out. This is called a crisper tray. And this is called the combi pan. This is called the baking tray. The different cooking methods. Combi meals, combi crisp, combi bake. And I guess you just go up and down to the light function. We're going to use the, the Ninja Combi Oven. And we're going to make chicken tikka masala with this sauce some chicken thighs and some jasmine rice. And I went through the book and I found a chicken thighs with creamy mushroom but rice pilaf. We're not making that, but I'm following the instructions on here for it because it's basically the same thing. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to put our chicken thighs with the skin on in a bowl. One, two, that's how I'm gonna do. We're gonna just rub it in to each one and let this sit for a couple of hours and let those flavors that uh, curry flavor get into the meat in the as much as it can anyway and help season it and that's what that looks like no more salt pepper or anything this can sit on the counter for an hour or two or we can be safe and put it in the fridge then what we're going to do i'm going to follow the instructions we're going to put two cups of this jasmine rice and four cups of water and this will go on the bottom shelf, and then that'll go on a pan on the middle shelf. Close the door and flip the smart switch to combi. The smart switch is right here. Combi, it says right there. Set the temperature to 375. 
and set time for 17 minutes. I'm gonna set time for 10 minutes because I wanna add more sauce to it. So, and then press start. We're seven and a half minutes in. You can see the rice in there. No, you can't. But it's bubbling, steam's coming out the top. And in uh, two and a half minutes, we're gonna pull the chicken out and take the skin off. All right, this is it. That's all the sound you get when it's done. You might wanna set another timer. So why'd you use, why'd you make so much rice? That was the recipe uh -huh. in the book. <laughs> so eight more minutes. eight more minutes so we're at a total of 18 minutes for the cook I took the skin off that'll go back in here in a minute it's simmering basically in its own juices there's a little bit of the marsala sauce um, so we're gonna check the temperature make sure this is done and that's 165 160 170 which for dark meat chicken is is pretty darn good. We could actually go a little more if we wanted to. So let's check the rice. Clean for. And if you get up in here, this is the rice that was two cups of rice and four cups of water, and I didn't touch it. I not once. And it's fluffy, and it's nice. And let's see if it's done. Oh my gosh, it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And there's no sticking on the bottom at all. I'm, I'm like super, super impressed. And I didn't rinse this rice either. And you can see how fluffy it is. I'm gonna put it right in the center. Then I'm going to select air fry. Okay, so I, this is a great lesson. I'm going up and down and I'm trying to figure out how to get it over here on the air fry side and it was not going on. Well, here's, the, here's what happened. Follow my finger. Right. Now we're over on this side. We're on air fry. I'm gonna go for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go for 400 degrees, 420, and start. So this switch right here is how to get this menu from this side to this side. Well, that's about it. Um, everything went pretty smooth. You can see the skin got a little dark. Um, I think that's the sugar in the sauces. Uh, the chicken was just tender and juicy. The rice was cooked perfectly. That sauce is 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 pretty nice. We do better at the restaurant on it, but uh, for a quick twenty minute dinner, I think it was uh, it went very very well. I like that we were able to cook the rice and the chicken at once in the combi oven. My first impression of the Ninja combi oven is is very good. Uh, I like it. I look forward to cooking in it and sharing that experience with you. As always, thank you for watching.